Today, we find out if this electric dirt surfer build has legs and see if it can hack it on an actual backpacking trip. Electric dirt surfer backpacking. Is this a world first? Has anyone ever actually gone backpacking on a dirt surfer before? Riding this thing for any extended period of time is really rough on the calf muscles. So you can see on the map here, it shows the exact rail trail that we're taking. This is all part of the TCT. Comes up, 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 passes through cold water. Uh, hi, do you have any uh, tent sites? Thanks anyway, Spin. Just not having luck. All right, still camping it is. Coast is clear. We have home for the night. I'm beat. I'm gonna go to bed. All right, well, got the uh, camp all cleaned up here. It wasn't the best stealth camp, really close to the trail. And uh, I don't think I was alone in the area, if you catch my drift. Just gotta inflate my uh, front tire of the dirt surfer to the proper pressure, since it likes to uh, lose air pressure. All right, we're good. Looks like we're dealing with a bit of fog this morning. All right, more of following this rail trail for miles. No time like the present, I guess. There it is. It's foggy out on the water. You certainly can't see much out there. Oh, I love riding in the early morning like this. Not a lot of traffic. I'm free to just cruise. Uh, I'm starting to get a little worried. My legs are super sore from yesterday and I'm having to stop and take breaks every uh, kilometer or two. And already this morning, my legs are feeling kind of jelly. If I can't uh, get into the swing of things, I might have to uh, bail out because if I can't stay in control of the board, <laughs> that's pretty dangerous. So we'll, uh, we'll push forward and see how it goes, but uh, yeah. This ride certainly doesn't lack for views, that's for sure. So I made a bit of a boo-boo last night when I set up my tent. I didn't properly clear out all the pokies. So what I wound up doing is setting up on top of a uh, branch poking straight up. And uh, I felt it through my pad. I'm like, oh no, because it felt super sharp. Like it had poked through my tent. And uh, sure enough, I uh, had to make a field repair of the bottom of my tent with some duct tape. Literally all of my other accommodations for last night fell through. The inn that I looked at was booked solid. All of the campgrounds I called, they were all RV campgrounds, which is friggin' frustrating. And my uh, end point today, there's not much in the way of amenities either. If I even make it that far, like I said, my legs aren't doing the greatest today. So we'll see. We'll see how she goes. Yeah, the uh, cold morning is really starting to affect the batteries. I'm not even at 10 kilometers yet, and I can already feel this one starting to sag a little bit. I hope I can make it to my uh, charging stop today. It got even colder last night than uh, what it initially said. It got down to eight degrees last night. Well, so far so good. I'm about 11, 12 kilometers in and it's starting to become less and less taxing on my legs the longer I ride. Every time I stop and take a break, I'm able to ride for longer, so. I make a good time. It's only just after eight o'clock. I've only been on trail for about an hour and I've already covered 13 kilometers. So if I can keep up this pace, it is possible. But, uh, you know, it's me. I have a habit of biting off more than I can chew. This, uh, this battery is just about to give up the ghost here. I'm absolutely crawling. At least if I dismount on grass, it's not so harsh on the drivetrain when it kicks over. All right. You come off. And do you. So I got about 14 and a half kilometers on it. Not bad considering this morning it's like was like eight degrees when I left and the batteries hadn't had a chance to warm up. The ones in my pack are a little bit warmer so I'll probably get closer to the full capacity out of them. Connect you like so. Put it back on. Goes on. Let's make some distance. This is a 
pretty cool section of the trail. Midland seems like a pretty cool city. It's uh, definitely got some pretty nice beachfront stuff going on. Oh, sorry guys, gonna pass on your left there. This thing cannot go up hills. <laughs> it's the first significant one I've encountered on this trip so far. Oh, this is the third hill that I've had to stop at. Oh, this is annoying. It's really slowing me down because I've got to walk it up, find a place to launch. This is like the worst set of hills I've ever seen. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Look at the grade. Am I climbing a friggin' mountain right now? Oh man, that was rough. I was like carrying it up a mountain. That is a steep grade, man. Taking a break, I'm gonna get some water into me and dry out. Well, it certainly seems like I gained a lot of elevation. Yeah, you know what? It's not even 11 o'clock yet and I am absolutely destroyed. And I'm not even at my charging stop for the day yet. Oh, I gotta be smarter and actually learn to uh, call it quits when things start getting too overwhelming. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna bail out at my next charging stop. barely stay on this thing. My calf muscles like destroyed. I think that was the smart decision. I think I'll be pretty much wrecked by the time I get to my end point here. Last battery in there. Called a, it's called a dirt surfer. I'm getting destroyed by these hills. It makes it really, really, really hard to make distance. Finally, some flat graded trail. Oh man. I had to stop still 10 kilometers away from where I'm supposed to be picked up but I, I can't make it my legs are locking up uh, I can't safely ride the board so I'm staying put wife's on her way to come pick me up anywho that about wraps this one up thanks for watching guys catch you in the next one